Hello everyone and thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome if you are new and welcome to all those coming back for another video today. So today we are mostly going to be focusing on taking down all of the Christmas decor. Um, we're going to be cleaning up here in the living room and just getting a few decor items out again. Um, this will probably change um, as the spring comes along but we're just going to put a few things out again but first of all we're just going to take down all the Christmas decor and this takes a little bit of time but um, yeah and then we're going to start cleaning. So for all of my fairy lights, I'm going to remove all the batteries. Um, I don't want to store those in the pack, you know, all year long. Um, and then I'm just going to twist up the cord and just wrap it up carefully and then it's good to go. And then I'm also going to take all these picks out that I put in these garlands um, and put those somewhere separate. And now for the nativity scene, I am going to put it back in the box where it came from just so it's not banging around in a box somewhere and getting broken or something. Um, I'm just going to put it back in this box so I know it'll be safe. Alright, and now I'm using my Mrs. Meyers cleaner in the Snowdrop scent along with my Norwex cloth, um, slightly damp, and we're just going to go over all the furniture, and I'm sure you know how dirty your stuff gets after all the Christmas decor. There's leftover snowflakes, there's uh, some greenery that fell off your garlands, and it just seems a little extra dusty and dirty, so we're just going to take the cloth over it, um, get it nice and wiped down before we move on. Alright, and moving over to the bookshelf here, again just taking everything down, removing the lights out of the garlands and also the picks, and then just putting everything on a pile on the other side of the room. Right, and over here then by the kids' books, I'm going to go through some of these books and just um, take some of them out. Some of them were looking kind of bad. And then before I put the books back, I'm just going to clean all the shelves off and get them good and clean. And then we're going to do something a little bit different with the children's books. Um, try something different. And then over here was just a toy that needs to be put away. It needs to go in a different room. So if I find anything like that that's not Christmas decor, but it doesn't belong in this room, I'm going to put it all in this basket. And then once we're done here, we can take this basket and put everything where it belongs. So here is all the Christmas stuff that I have taken down. Um, so of course we have this basket here of things that don't belong. And then 
starting first with all the garlands, the greenery, the wreaths, is all kind of in one pile over here. And then next to it is all of the picks that I put in. Um, over here is just a variety of all the trees that I had up, the little trees. And then in the back is just some signs and some of the houses, just some other decor back there. Then we have the nativity set. And then over here is just things that's not Christmas, but I headed out um, in with my Christmas decor. So that is everything that we are gonna be putting away. So now we are down in the basement. We're putting things away. And I got these big jumbo bags. They have little handles on the top. And I wanted these for a lot of these small things um, that kind of tend to get lost in your boxes. Um, just to keep these organized and separated. That way I can find them next year when I want them. So that's what I'm doing with a lot of these small items. Just putting them in these bags, keeping them separated. Uh, that way they don't get lost. And then to fill up the rest of the box, it's just kind of like a puzzle. You just fit things in as you can and fill it up um, as much as you can. All right, and then once the boxes are full, we're just gonna put the lids on. Um, and I really like these hefty boxes. They And then for the garlands, I'm going to first of all put all these picks in another one of these big bags. Um, and then I'll close it up and put it in this, this bigger tub for all the garlands. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fold these garlands in half and put these in. Now I did have another idea of something that might work for this. Um, if you have a big Christmas tree bag, I thought this would work perfect for all of your garlands and your greenery and all those little mini trees. Um, you could just put them all in a big Christmas tree bag and that would probably work just as well as this. Um, but I didn't have one of those so I'm just going to put my garlands in one of these totes and then all my miniature trees in another one. All right, and now we are back upstairs in the living room. We're gonna start with all of the kids' books, and I'm gonna start by putting these um, Bible story books here in the middle. And I got these bookends. They're acrylic bookends, um, so you can't really see them that well. And I think they look so nice. Um, I'm really liking them so far. And then I got these bins for all of the books, and we're just gonna put them in both of them. Um, and I'll try to link these items in the description box below. But when I got these bins, they were crammed in a box and they're um, kind of not looking the nicest. So I'm gonna see if I can fix that here in a little bit. But we're gonna move on here, um, over here on this shelf, just by cleaning it off first. And then we're gonna change these other bookends as well. All right, and then we're gonna hang up this picture over the fireplace again, and then we're gonna just do a little bit of decorating here on top of the fireplace. And this decorating is just something quick. It's definitely subject to change here um, within the next couple of months, but this just gives us a little bit something bright and cheery to look at.
And now we're just going to put these pillow covers here on these pillows. These pillow covers I had gotten last year, I believe. Um, again, I will try to link these below if that is something that you need. Um, I just like these. They're just a nice white. I can throw them in the washer when they get dirty. And I definitely like to get pillow covers instead of... Um, the pillow all in one this way I can just store the pillow covers throughout the year and just reuse the the pillows for inserts for other pillows throughout the seasons All right, and now we are on to sweeping the floor. And again, the floor seemed extra dirty today uh, because of all the Christmas stuff we took down and there was just debris all over the place um, from the Christmas decor. So it felt good to get it all swept up. Right, and I am trying out a new mop today. Um, you all know I love my spin mop, but the only thing that I don't like about it is it takes so much room to store it. So I'm going to try this one. This is the O-Cedar spray mop, and um, it worked very well today. Um, I'm not really used to it yet, but I like this one because most of all it just does not take very much room to store. Um, there's not a big bucket that goes with it. Um, so hopefully I'll like it and um, I'll link this one down below as well. It's fairly inexpensive so that's another thing that I liked about it. And then most of all um, I like that this mop part comes off and then I can just throw this in the washer and it's good to go again. All right and so here is the living room all cleaned and um, this is all that we're going to get clean today. I'm pretty tired out and just ready to enjoy my clean living room and then we'll work on some of the other rooms some other day. So that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed and uh, maybe you got some ideas for storing some of your Christmas items throughout the year and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!